Okay, we're going to come to the final step, which is to plug the ESC leads into the control board. Now, it's very important that each one of these leads gets plugged in the correct way so that all three pins line up very carefully with the circuit board. You don't want to get them crooked. You don't want to get them in the wrong spot so that all the plugs are on squarely. And you want to make sure that each of the motors is plugged onto the correct port. Now, if you look very carefully at the board, each of the outputs is labelled, and the chart that shows you which direction, which direction the motors should spin in, also gives you the channel number for each motor. Okay, every airframe is a little bit different, so make sure you're looking at the correct chart for the airframe you're doing, and plug your ESC leads into the correct sockets. Now, you notice. Right now, I don't have any props on the Scarab here. That is really important. You want to do all of your testing and all of your setup without props on the motors. Okay? Um, you can really hurt yourself, basically. It's an important safety tip. And anytime you're doing any sort of messing around with it on the bench, I always recommend you take all the motors, all the props off all the motors. Okay, big important tip. Okay, um, last thing I'm going to do is fit the Andromeda um, LED array back onto the quad. Um, uh, one thing, this is the version 1 board, there's now a version 2 board out, but which powers up differently. The version 2 board also includes a regulator for uh, your video transmitter. Um, and a few other nice little features but one thing you want to make sure when you either way on the old boards you have a power input that comes from your uh, positive side of your LiPo uh, the new board has a JST connector that just plugs into the wiring loom but you have this ground trigger wire that you have to solder on you see the Andromeda yourself that plugs into the LED trigger pin that's on your Paris board. And doing that allows the LEDs on the Andromeda array to turn on and off as you arm and disarm the aircraft. So that sits on top, uh, four screws, and that's ready to go. The last thing you want to do before you fly this is a props off test. And the props off test is pretty simple. What you do is power it up, arm it, and set about one third throttle on your radio. And then what you do is you pick it up and hold a motor towards you with it flat and suddenly drop the motor. Just cause the motor that's closest to you to drop. And it should sound like it's speeding up. All right, so motor towards you, drop it, speeds up, raises it, slows down. Move to the next motor, same thing. Move to the next motor, same thing all the way around all the motors so basically as you drop the motor it speeds up that tells you that you've got all the channels correctly wired to the board right last test you can do is sit the scarab down pointing away from you and use the roll command and the um, elevator stick so roll and pitch in the old helicopter terms, which is actually elevator, to um, hear the motors move speeding up in the correct directions. So when you go roll, one side speeds up, other side slows down, roll the other way, it reverses, and the same with your elevator stick. And that should always be fine. As long as you've got the um, motors losing speed as you drop the one towards you sorry gaining speed as the one towards you drops then um, the stick test is superfluous last final test sit it on the desk run it up to full throttle and just make sure it's all running nice and smoothly there's no misfires of the motors and it all just sounds sweet uh, one thing I'm not covering in this set of videos is motor and prop balancing. You should balance all the motors and you should balance all your props before you fly it. But at this stage, everything's balanced, everything's bolted together. 
can fit the props and go for a fly.